I am, I am the, the humble, humble seer. seer. Hello and welcome to the humble seer. So I'm going to do a past, present, and future on Ariana Grande. So I'm going to pull a card on her young life as a little girl, her teen years, her 20s and 30s, her adult life and her future, and then I'll pull a card on her mother and father and her relationships. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this, this is her young life as a young little girl. This is her in her teen years. This is her 20s and 30s where she's at right now. This is her adult life. And this is her future. And then later we'll pull a card on the mother, the father, and her romantic relationships. Okay. So her uh, young life as a little girl, we have the page of pentacles. And the page of pentacles is practical, thrifty, you know, lack of money. And I feel that um, there wasn't a lot. She didn't have a lot. She didn't come from a lot. It was meager, meager beginnings is, you know, just a, a humble, meager beginnings, right? Um, but she had you know, the love of her parents, whoever took care of her. It's a guardian, if it's a guardian, you know, but we'll just consider it a mother and a father figure. We all have mothers and fathers, but if she didn't have her parents in her life, it would just be a mother and father figure. You get the idea, but we'll, we'll refer to them as the mother and father. But the page of Pentacles is again, that's her young life as a little girl, you know, just from infancy, six, seven, eight, you know, she's the page of Pentacles. It was uh, she was a very dramatic child was what I'm getting. Just drama filled, you know, just a lot of drama. She liked drama and, um, she was a dreamer. She dreamt a lot and she wanted that pentacle. She wanted to be Cinderella or, was, you know, she liked those Disney characters, but her childhood wasn't horrible. It just, they, there just wasn't a lot. They didn't have much. Okay, now her teen years, now we're looking at the Ten of Cups. So something has drastically changed because her teen years are filled with happy home. So happy family, fairy tale endings, happiness, having a home, um, achieving your desire. So in her teen years, she had success, but she had a lot of jealousy around her. And whatever she was involved with, the other young girls did not like her. She developed a thick skin, though, but she wasn't liked. Okay, this is her 20s and 30s where she's at now. Okay, and that's the lovers. And the lovers is about true love, compassion. And what I get from this is that she's having the time of her life. That's what I'm getting. Like right now in her, her current, she is enjoying, she is loving life. Now I, I believe that she, I want to say she got married or she's in a, a relationship. I don't know, but her partner, I don't see that as the lovers because there's a snake there that represents that relationship, but we'll get more into that here with the romantic relationships. But right now, the stage in her life, she is feeling great. She is feeling excited and happy and energized and motivated and feeling good in her skin. She has, feels like she has arrived. And so that's, that's, that's wonderful. She's feeling good. She is enjoying what she's doing and the people around her. Now, this is her adult life. Okay. And then a tower. You know, sometimes the tower, this is not a good tower. Okay. It, it's not a good tower. And I'm going to put it high because she is going to be very, very affected in her adult life. 
When the, to- the tower is about drastic changes, catastrophe, destruction, it's divorce, it's fa- failure, it's loss, it's shock. And I feel like in her 40s, I feel like the age of 44, she's going to just start experiencing things where she feels like her the walls are closing in on her. She feels like she's not on firm foundation at all. And things are just you know, changing around her in a way that is, t- is t- very tough for her. I see her coming out of it though, but I see that it's going to be rocky for, for quite a while. Hmm. Okay. That's her adult life. Then in her future is the hanged man. So it just gets stranger and stranger. Okay. Now the hanged man is about illness and it's about imprisonment, uh, sacrifice, transition. Now I'm going to hone in on illness because I feel that there could be something that affects her. It's her voice is what I'm getting that is going to be adversely affected And it's going to have her in a hanged man position. And it's almost like an illness is what I'm getting. It's almost like, like a strep throat. Like it's just what I'm getting is the wear and tear. And that's what's happening here too. Because 44 is young, but for some reason, the things that she loves which is her, you know, if she's acting, singing, uh, Broadway, all of that, well, that tower is going to, it's going to shake things up. Hmm. In, in, in a way that's going to affect her, the things that she loves. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's pull a card on, um, her mother and father and her romantic uh, relationships. Okay. That's the mother, the father, and her romantic partnerships. Okay, so the mother, the mother represents the hermit. And the hermit is about solitude and loneliness. I feel that her mother suffers from depression. If she has her mother still or whatever the case may be, that woman in her life, it, it has serious um, depression. And some of that has, you know, it affects uh, Ariana as well. So the mother... Um, the mother did the best that she could, but she was a hermit. She was, you know, always sleeping or always in her room is what I'm getting. Always not wanting to be bothered. And the father figure is the queen of wands. And the queen of wands is business. They're, um, they're friendly. They're ambitious. They have leadership qualities. And I feel the father is, it was instrumental in Ariana being who she is today. Yeah. The father was pushed the child out there and, you know, but I feel that in her young, younger years, when she had the 10 of cups there, you know, there were things that, uh, that happened that occurred to her that, um, wasn't good that, you know, really affected her mentally because there were a lot of older people around her as a very young girl. Okay. The romance is the 10 of wands. Romantic relationships for this young woman are difficult And she doesn't really have a hand in choosing them. The 10 of wands is about stress. It's hard work. It's effort. It's a massive undertaking. It's something that she doesn't want to deal with and, you know, never did. 
but she has found herself in a, in a relationship that's not um, advantageous for her at all. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by The Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this reading. And if you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee, and that will be in the description box below. Until next time, you take good care, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.